we are solving another problem on Turing machine and in this case we are supposed to get the ones complement of a binary number. So, it has been given in the question. So, we shall have to draw the instantaneous descriptions and we shall have to do the rough work to get the logic then we shall design the Turing machine accordingly. So, let us do the planning at first. So, now here we will be having blank space say it is a binary number. So, I am considering this one as 0 1 1 0 1 it is another blank. So, for multiple time Turing machine conditions following the Turing machine. So, it will be converted to 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 blank space will be there initially this is my q 0 and here it will be my q f. So, that is my initial planning. So, we shall have to do our uh, construction of our Turing machine accordingly. Okay. So, so I have just, uh, just put the numbers for the places. So, now this is the way. So, we are going to solve this one. So, how to solve? So, if we get 0 then I shall make it 1, if I get 1 then I shall make it 0. So, I am solving this one in front of you. So, here we are having the tape symbols. What are the tape symbols we can get? We can get tape symbols like 0 and then 1 and then blank space. So, these are the tape symbols we are having. So, this is my present state. So, initially it should be at Q0 as mentioned. Initially it should be at Q0 as mentioned. Okay. Now, so if Q0 gets 0, then it will write this one as 1 and then it will move, to right, move towards the right and the state will remain unchanged. That means, if it gets 0, then obviously it will be moving towards the right after making that 0 as 1. So, if it gets 1, then it will make it 0, it will move towards the right there is no need to change the state. So, it will move towards the right, keep on moving towards the right and 1 will be replaced by 0. If it gets a blank space, then it will keep this one. You see, after getting this blank space, I should return back. Na? So, I should put this one at the state 1. So, if I get a blank space, so it will go for blank and then it will go for left and let us suppose it is going for Q1. So, in case of Q1, it will just pass through this string whatever has got converted already. So, 1 left Q1, 0 will be as 0 left Q1. If I get 1, then it will be 1 left Q1. But if I get a blank, then I shall go for blank R. This is my uh, QF. And if I get QF, that is my final state. I am not going to define any transitions there, there. So, the machine should halt and that is my solution to the final state. Let me explain this one again. So, if I get 0, then I shall make it 1. I shall move towards the right, keeping the state same. If I get 1, then I shall make it 0. I shall keep moving towards the right, keeping the state same. If I get blank, then I shall make that one blank. I should not overwrite blank there because at the 6th place, the blank was there. At the 6th place, the blank is remaining. So, blank will be there, then I, sh I shall come back because my read write head should be at the position 1. So, left Q1, Q1 will march through all the zeros on the tape, keeping the 0, 0, keeping the 1, 1 without changing of state and always moving towards the left until it gets a blank, then it will move towards the right and it will go to the state QF and QF is the final state. So, that is the my that is my machine. The machine will halt because I am not going to define any transition against QF for any one of the input tape symbols. So, this is my transition table. Let us draw the transition diagram for this. Let us draw that one. Okay. Now, I am going for Q0, Q1, QF. So, this is my Q0 initial state, this is my Q1 
and that is my q wave that is the final state so let me plot them in this particular transition system so q0 0 1 r q0 so q0 if it gets 0 then it will make it 1 and it will move towards the right and it will be at the state q0 now q0 1 0 r q0 so q0 if it gets 1 then 1 will be written as 0 will be overwritten as 0 and it will remain it will go to the right and it will remain with the state q0 if q0 gets blank then blank l q1 if q0 gets blank then blank will be replaced by blank and it will move towards the left and the next state will be q1 in q1 if it gets 0 in q1 if it gets 0 then 0 will be written as 0 it will move towards the left and it will remain with the state q1 so now here if q1 gets 1 then 1 will be written it will move towards the left it will remain with the state q1 so if it gets 1 then 1 will be written back it will keep moving towards the left and it will remain with the state q1 if it if q1 gets blank then it will move towards the qf and it next set qf move towards the right and blank so now if blank is obtained it will be overwritten by blank it will it will go to the right hand side and the my next set will be qf at qf no transition is defined so i'm not having any outward edge from qf so this is my transition system So from this particular transition table, we can also construct the transition system. So this is my problem in words, this is my problem in the form of IDs. Then we decided the logic, how we shall implement this particular problem. Then this is the problem solution in the form of transition table or from here I can go to the transition system or directly from the problem instead of writing this transition table, I can also go for the transition system directly. In this way, the problem can be solved. I think you are getting this logic. Thanks for watching this video.